Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Luke Shami alongside Chris Singleton, singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Hunter Renfro. Yeah, Boogie's he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set, and today's starter, John Means. Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA, and you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation. You've got to have people round things out, and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season. But last year, he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average. And when you look at that kind of performance, it has a place on every ball club. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Colton Wong takes the ball here as he stands in now. First pitch, 7.06. And the pitch. That misses. And now 2 0. There's a strike. In the air, right field. That takes care of Wong. One away. Batting second. The shortstop. Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas stands in. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. And here it comes. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. Good eye in that spot. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Liner, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. He's in at second with a one-out double. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it that down the hurt. line. Nice the job of staying in his mechanics. Christian Yellen. Man, it's second with one away. Here's Yelich at the dish. He was hitless in four at-bats yesterday. In there for strike one. Kicks and deals. Strike two. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Runner leads away at second. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. That is 
the right field, number 12. Hunter Renfro at the plate. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. First Whoa, offering and it just misses. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Brewers. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Mission accomplished the there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. So close mm -hmm. to blasting that one out of here the other way. But well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Here's Luis Arias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. That one is lifted in the air. Mullins turns and moving to his left. Makes the catch in and goal. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's an early 1-0 lead. Is this redemption for my soul? Old ground to explore. Bottom of the first. And on the hill in this one, Brandon Woodruff. Always a treat to watch one of the best starters in the sport singing. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. We go to the bottom of the first, and now the shortstop, Ramon Urias. Leading off for the Orioles, not shortstop. Here comes a pitch. Number 29. There's the strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. One away. Some really good tunnel action there. That's a picture-perfect slider to get the strikeout. Starts over the middle of the plate and then dives hard off the outside corner. You know, he's probably thinking about the fastball they got the pitch before, and there's no way to hold up when you tunnel that well. Jorge Mateo now. That one's in there, 0-1. And the right-hander deals. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. 0-2 now. Ball one there. One ball, two strikes, you know. And he chases that one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. And yeah, the batter now, Cedric Mullins. The pitch. 
Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Fastball right there smoked him in the leg. At least it's in the leg and not in the no, wrist or the hand. But it still hurts, man. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. First pitch just misses. And there's the strike. I got one ball, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Mullins off of first with two away. Rudder takes off. Pitch is high. Safe at second, and that was not close. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. 2-2. Two -two. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Severino moving under this one. Squeezes it, and that's the inning. One left for the Orioles. They trail here, 1-0. Top of the second, here's a speed threat, Andrew McCutcheon. Leading off for Milwaukee, the left fielder, number 24. The why to kick the pitch. McCutcheon. And downstairs. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. The lefty, the 1 0. Bouncer to second. Whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting seven. The first baseman, Rowdy Tellez. Here's Rowdy Tellez. Foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. Next pitch inside. Now one and two. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. And a swing and a miss down on strikes to out. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at bat alive. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Brewers' DH, Michael Brasso. And that's in there for strike one. And he deals. Ball. Now wanted a one. One ball, one strike. Next pitch Two in balls. the dirt. And a count to and one. Two down, nobody on. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Brewers go down quietly. But they lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now, Trey Mancini. Leading off for the Orioles, the designated hitter, Trey Mancini. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Telez oh. takes it to the bag and quickly won away in the second. Batting six. The right fielder, Anthony. Dunk on there. 
Anthony Santander at the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. And it's even up. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. I know Joe Batten Seven. Come up here. Hey. And now it's Austin Hayes. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. And a pitch. That one missed. The pitch. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Kicks and fires. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh Batting start in. against a new batter, a but baseman. he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching oh, with conviction. Cool. Rugnet Odor takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Righty delivers. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0-2. Left-hand hitter waits. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here in Baltimore, on to the third inning. Here's Pedro Severino. Leading off for Milwaukee, the catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. means back to work and that one clips the corner and a pitch they say it went the pitch next offering is outside here's a one two Stays alive. And a one two again. I got to count two and two. And now it's filled up. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And one away in the top of the third. Colton Wong up to hit. Second base. Colton Wong. Yeah. In there for strike one. All one's the count. And a pitch. Two 
that misses the zone and the count is one and two. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. That takes care of Wong. And there's two down. Now batting. Shortstop. Willie Adamas. Next for the Brewers, Willie Adamas. Doubled in his first A.B. And the first offering is not close. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. Two and oh. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The wind to kick the 2 0. And that's in there at the knees. Yep. It's a good spot with the 3-0 pitch right there. You don't want to lay something in, and it turns out to be a homer. And now a full count. The wind of the pitch. Hit well. Right field, way back, and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, his second of the year, and they add a run. It's 2 nothing. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Base is empty with two away. And now the center fielder, Christian Yelich. The center fielder. That one's Christian in there, 0 and 1. Yelich. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. This one smoked out to left. Hayes makes the catch, and that'll do it. Another run for Milwaukee with the homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. As we go to the last of the third and into the box Leading for Baltimore, for Robinson Chirino. The catcher, Robinson Chirino. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Next offering is fouled back. And the 0-2. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Righty to the plate. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now allow him to get that call so hitters are going to have to make an adjustment but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can next to hit Ramon Urias and look out that one gets him the second man he's plunked in this one oh that'll put the infielders on their toes a little bit more time to lock in on that double play possibility won't be able to shift as aggressively but they've got to try to get two for one Mateo at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. That one drifts inside. Urias over at first with one away. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three.
and here it comes. There's a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. And the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Next offering is fouled back. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that now location. So first and second with one man gone. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. All in one now. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Out towards left center. Nice grab on the run. Two down. The first baseman, number six, Ryan. So first and second with two outs. Ryan Mountcastle now at the plate. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. And he'll one. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Urias around third. The run scores. Here comes a second. Oh, he throws it away. In comes the tying run from first. It's 2-2. In there safely. Two outs with a man at third. And now Trey Mancini. Now the designated hitter, Trey. Mancini. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the righty deals to the left side, but it is well foul. Tied up here in the early going. Ripped to third and caught. On to inning number four. We are tied 2-2. You ain't from what you say you from. You ain't done what you say you done. We don't believe that. You ain't from what you say you from. You Back here at the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Leading off for Milwaukee. Well, after putting up a nice the inning right on field. offense, got some runs Third. across, this is where you Renfrew. look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't. This looks like extra bases. And it bangs up against the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. The Wasn't able to elevate two. that one, but he sure Ooh. hit it hard enough to get Ooh. through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Luis Urias up now for the Brewers. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. First offering misses the mark. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch is outside.
And it's second. To the right side. Mountcastle takes it himself. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. The left fielder, number 24, Andrew McCutcheon. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Grounded out his first time up. In there, and it's 0-1. And now the lefty swings and misses. And it's 0-2. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Next pitch inside. One and two to count. Renfro stands at third with one gone in the inning. Got him. And there's two down. Oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball into play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. And here's the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. His first at bat was a strikeout. First pitch, and he just misses. Runner at third, two away. Next one misses, ball two. That one missing inside. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Hi. Next pitch in for a strike, 3-1. and one. And it's ball four. He missed down low. And he reluctantly takes his walk. The batter, the designated hitter, Michael Brasso. Stepping in, Michael Brasso. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And that's in there for strike one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Throws down to first, but he wasn't going anywhere. The 1-1. Yeah, that one missing low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Mullins has a beat on it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Brewers strand a couple. Score remains 2-2. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Anthony Santander. The right fielder, Anthony Santander. And he deals. That pitch in for a strike, and that is strike one. Left-hand batter waits. And there's a ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. 
The pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. He's got it, and there's one down. Up next for the Orioles, no left fielder, Austin. Austin Hayes digs in now. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-2. One down, base is empty. Slider now, misses outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. One, two now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Kicks and fires. The punch out there, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Strike two. The wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Pedro Severino. Off from Milwaukee. The catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. The pitch. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. The pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. One, two now. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Now it's the second baseman, Colton Wong. Colton Wong. That hits the dirt, and it's one to no. The wind of the pitch. Late swing, foul to the left. The pitch. And misses inside. Left-hand hitter waits. Fouls one off, two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's two away. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Two outs, base is empty. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. That one misses in the dirt. And a pitch. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. That's through there for a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two. 
two outs. That's down and in. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Kicks and deals. On the ground to third. Gathers and throws to first. And they get a Thomas for the out. And that'll do it. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. And this game is still tied at two and two. Back now at Oriole Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading now here is Robinson Chirino. The catcher, Robinson Chirino. And the right hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty delivers. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. That was a moonshot. His second of the year, and they jump out front. It's 3-2. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Now Good for him. Number now it's going to be Ramon Urias. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. One one now. Fouled off. He was late. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. The wind of the pitch. And that's down it away. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now one away. Well, singing, you come here to this gorgeous ballpark. It's hard to be here and not think about one of the legends of the game, Cal Ripken Jr. Yeah, boo. Cal is one of the all-time legends. But there are other guys as well that I think you could mention in there. Eddie Murray, Jim Palmer. Uh, they have a rich history of great players in this franchise. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Now just a batting. cookie down Third the middle. Fielder. I mean, those are the ones you dream right. about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Four. Orioles. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. And, of course, Cal's number retired here by the Orioles and that number eight on display in that left field corner just outside the stadium beyond the scoreboard. Woodruff throws to first. Oh, they got him leaning. He's out. Unless you're really thinking about stealing second base, you should not get picked off by a right-handed pitcher right there. The wind of the pitch. One thing about Cal is he played hard every single game and just impressive to be on the field with the legend and, and see the effort that he gave even on the tail end of his career. They say he went. Next offering misses and the count is three and one. The three one. And that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And he walked him. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing number without three, giving up any six. more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Right. 
Mullins off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Renfro under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. Solo Homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now a 3-2 ball game. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's Christian Yelich. Leading off for the Brewers, the center fielder, Christian Yelich. Means back to work. And yeah, that's outside. Action in the pen down there. Dylan Tate up and loosening in the pen. Scott, the power lefty, up as well. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. Christian Yelich leaves the yard. Third home run of the season. It's 3-3. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Now it's Hunter Renfro. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. In the air, left side. Hayes moving under it. And makes the grab. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Urias in the box again, takes a strike. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. In the air, left field. Hauls it in for the out. The left fielder, number 24, Andrew McCutcheon. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. In there for strike one. And the pitch. And now the count is even. And here it comes. And the count one and two. And the pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Stays alive. Well struck left field. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Andrew McCutcheon blasts one out. His second of the year, it's 
A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Now batting. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Rowdy. In there, and it's 0-1. Big swing and a miss. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4-3 ball game. And welcome back. John Shambi with Chris Singleton in the booth and Leading leading off, off the bottom of the sixth, Orioles, Trey Mancini. The designated hitter, Trey Mancini. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. And now it's even up. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch, perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Yelich under it. And there's one away. Up next for the Orioles, the right fielder. Anthony. So next to hit for Baltimore, Santander. Anthony Santander. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And the right-hander deals. Ball three. That almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. The three-one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit all run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Hey, swings through it for strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Justin Topa preparing to come on if needed. Suter, a left-hander, also throwing. Out towards right center field. Renfro makes the catch. Two down. Now batting. Third baseman. Here's the third baseman. Rubnet Odor. That one's in there. 0-1. Santander leads off first with two down to the inning. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next offering is fouled back. Got him looking, and that is the inning. 
And the Orioles leave one. Still down a run. It's 4-3. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, D.L. Hall. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Back here in Baltimore, now batting Michael Brasso. Starting off with the Brewers, the designated hitter, Michael Brasso. The pitch. Swings and misses. 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Towards first, Mountcastle gloves it, and he handles it himself for the out. The catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. Here's the Brewers catcher now, Pedro Severino. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That's going back. Back some more. Can't get there. Base hit. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that no one. Matter. Loud contact leads to the is. double. I mean, Cold you could tell it had extra bases yeah. written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. First oh, offering, sorry, and it just misses. And there's the strike. Well, a good breaking ball like that can buckle the hitter, and by the time you realize it's going to be in the strike zone, it's too late to pull the trigger. The 1-1. One, one. And oh. another ball. Two, one. one out, and a runner at second. On the ground to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. That takes care of Wong. Now batting. The shortstop. Really. A Adamas in the box with two gone and it takes a look at a called strike. Now the 0 1. And that skips in the dirt. The 1 1. That one drifts inside. Two outs with a runner at third. And it's even up. And a pitch. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Brewer strand one, and it remains a 4-3 game. <laughs> Leading off for the Orioles, the catcher, David Shea. Chirino. Chirinos in the box now. Takes strike one. Righty to the plate. 
late with the swing there. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Next offering is in the dirt. Puts it in the air out towards left center. McCutcheon should have this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Now battle. Number 29. Now here is Ramon Urias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Oh and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Whoa. Next offering is down low. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now back. Second baseman, Jorge Mateo. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. Line drive and a base hit right there. And that puts the tying run on base. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. I can watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Brandon Woodruff won't go any further, and as he heads off, he'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So a lefty out of the pen, Brent Suter, and he'll work on holding this lead. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Now moves to first. Mateo back safely. Left-hand batter waits. That's a strike. And now the lefty. Mateo off of first with two away. Next pitch has popped up. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. Score holds at 4 3. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Dylan Tate. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Back here at the ballpark for the top of the eighth, and now it's Christian Yelich. The pitch. And a strike.
Right-hander kicks deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Now one away. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Renfro, for the fourth time tonight. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Bullpen activity starting up now. Tyler Wells getting loose out there. The pitch. In the air, left field. Hayes under it. Makes the catch. And there are two down. The third baseman, number two, Luis Urias. Luis Urias up now for the Brewers. And that's in there for strike one. And fouled off. But why to kick the pitch? And that's downstairs and outside. And that one got a piece of him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, anytime one of your guys gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout, and you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Check swing, went around, and it's nothing in two. Right-handed reliever. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Milwaukee leaves one. But they hang on to a one-run lead, 4-3. Welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. And a look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The wind of the pitch. Way high. Activity in the bullpen. Devin Williams up and throwing. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch up, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. The next offering misses, and it's 2-1. and one. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Check swing, but he went too far. It's 2-2. Two and two. The tying run at the plate. And it's filled up. That's a really good take. Ground ball up the middle. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so now really back. great the job coming through right there. It's got to feel right. good. Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily bit out in front on the off speed and pulled off of it, but he was looking to use the big part of the field, and he executed his plan perfectly. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Trey Mancini now, and he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Mountcastle on at first. Nobody out. Next one misses. And one and one. Next offering is fouled back. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The pitch. Oh, right to the backstop. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, no, just right. went around too right. far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One run game, one out, one on. There's the strike. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next pitch inside. Two and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Kicks and deals. In the air, foul off first. Telez puts it away. That's out number two. The back. So Brad Boxberger rolls into the game, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Oh, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. And now two and nothing. And he pumps it a strike. And the righty deals. And it's fouled away. Two two now. And a foul ball. Two two. Stays alive. Next pitch off the play, and it's three and two. Runner leads away at second. So now two on and two outs. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. First and second, two outs. Rudnet Odor getting ready to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. It was just paint on the first pitch fastball. The 0-1. 
Got the back going too soon at strike two. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Inning over. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Tyler Wells. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Well, one run game. Rowdy Telez now at the plate. The, the first baseman. Rowdy Telez. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. There's a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper Michael hamstring. Russo. Rosso in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch misses. Ball one. Kicks and fires. The other way. And that's just foul. The one two. Got him. One out. Now at the plate, Pedro Severino. Pedro Severino. And first offering is fouled off. Foul ball there. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Curb in the dirt, kicks away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Colton Wong stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And it's second. High in the air, out to right. He makes the grab, and that is that. A 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Brewers four and the Orioles three. Kevin Williams into the game, now trying to protect this lead. Number 38, Kevin Williams. Leading off for the Orioles, the catcher, Robin And he deals. Chirino. Chirinos at the plate now. That's ball one. And the 1 0. -oh. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Looking to get the tying run on base. 
That one in there across the letters. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. And here it comes. Swing and a miss struck him out, and one gone. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and no close bad. the door, Number cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Urias, the next to hit, takes ball one. Home team down a run. Here the home team trying to pull it out. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Knocks it down. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that... They have a high contact rate, and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Next to hit, Jorge Mateo. First pitch, and he just misses. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. one -oh. in there at the knees tying run at first the winning run at the plate next offering is in for a strike pretty rare location right there right down the middle this guy paints the edges I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter Pickoff throw, and he's back in safely. Got him! And there's two away. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, oh, it's just become such a no, problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on. And now it's going to be Cedric Mullins. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Fastball high and tight right there. A scary combo. I'll tell you what, everyone in the stadium looked like they felt like they needed to jump out of the way. I know I moved. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release ball. That's a base hit. Runner around third. Oh, the throw is wild. In comes the run from second. It's 4-4. Four -four. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. 
But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So two outs with runners on the corners. Now here's the Orioles DH. Trey Mancini. Trey Mancini. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the pitch. And ball one. Action in the pen down there. Alec Bettinger, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. Next pitch has popped up. Severino has this one sized up. Makes the grab. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now tied 4-4. Taron Vavra. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. Now playing shortstop. Back now at Oriole Park. We're in extras here, and the batter will be the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Well, not easy to bounce back mentally after blowing the lead in the bottom of the ninth, but we'll see what these guys have on the road in extras. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. And one and two. Tied at four. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering in the dirt. The count now two and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. And they get the leadoff man in the 10th. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And now the center fielder, Christian Yelich. In there for strike one. Next offering is outside. And a 1-1. That's inside. And the right hater deals. Pitch misses there. Ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Slapped foul. All tied up and here in extra innings. High fly ball out to center field. Mullins brings it in. And there's two away. The batter, the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. So next, it's the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. First offering is fouled off. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Next offering is in for a strike. And downstairs. All tied up here in extra innings. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Still all square at four apiece.
Alec Bettinger on a pitch out of the pen here. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Alec Bettinger. Bottom of the inning, and now Anthony Santander leading off. Well, both Jordan sides Orioles. equally as strong, right so not Anthony. a good time to try to turn him around Santander. with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. First offering misses the mark. Good eye right there. Righty delivers. That one missed. Now three and oh. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it can be a little tough coming from the bullpen now into this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Exactly what they needed him to deliver there. A quality at bat. Now the pressure's on to find a way to get it. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Movement in the bullpen, Justin Topa, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Bunting, and he pops it up. To Les. Makes the play. One away. Now batting. Third baseman. Rubnet. Odor. Rubnet Odor. The next to hit for the Orioles. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah. I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And a foul ball. Way inside, and that hit him. These types of mistakes usually turn out to be costly this late in the ball game. Things now can Patrick, really slip catcher, away in a hurry. Robinson. First and second, one out. And now the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. He's already homered in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Ball to strike. Just missed. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter's side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Here comes the pitch, and they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And now Terran Vavra will get a chance to hit. Lifted in the air, right center field. Renfro on the move. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. Runner tags from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Orioles strand a couple. This game's all tied at four. Welcome back, and on the mound to start the 11th inning, Tanner Scott. Number 66, Tanner Scott. And now, Luis Urias. Hitting off for Milwaukee, the third baseman, number two, Luis Urias. The pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. Zips it to first. And that is a big first out. The left fielder, number 24, Andrew McCutcheon. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. 
You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And first offering is fouled off. All tied up. We are in the 11th. Next pitch misses inside. And the count even one and one. Kicks and deals. And there's a ball. Next one in the dirt. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And there's a foul ball. And now the lefty. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most Nick confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the, the strike zone. zone. So digging in, Rowdy Telez. First offering misses badly for ball one. And that's outside. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 2-0. That one pushed foul. One away. Tie game. Go-ahead run stands at first. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So here's the Brewers' DH, Michael Brasso. Next offering is down low. 1 and 0. Oh. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. At the belt and finals. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the grab and there's two out. So first and second with two outs. Next for Milwaukee, Pedro Severino. In there and it's 0-1. McCutcheon at second to Les. At first, two out of the inning. 0-2 as he waves at that one. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Chirino pulls that one down. And that'll do it. Brewers strand a couple. Score remains tied at four. I don't wear a cape or apron. So I ain't saving you a cleaner house. Do you think that's just a statement? Then you loot a Chris like it's word of mouth. All set for the bottom of the 11th and into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And he lays down a bunt. Can't glove it cleanly. No throw, and they come away without an out. This is a big part of his skill set, and he puts himself into situations where he can rely on his speed to impact the ball game. And this is just another example of it, and we'll see what else he can do now that he's on first. Mateo runs. Pitch in for a strike, and the throw gets away. 
safe to third, and the winning run is on the doorstep. Well, Boog, it can be tough to get a good grip on the baseball when it's cold outside, and that's definitely the case right now here in the ballpark. It could have been something else, but I definitely know that feeling when your fingertips are numb and you really can't feel the baseball. Next pitch has popped up. Urias puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. The Those high fastballs, they just look really oh, good yeah. because they're eye level, but Mount they're just Castle. about impossible to get the barrel to. Digging in, Ryan Mountcastle. Well, he came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. One down and the winning run at third. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. This to center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Lead off knock puts the winning run on base. In comes the winning run, and the Orioles walk it off in the 11th. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. Close one here today, and your final 5-4 as the Orioles win this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.